Hello friends, uh, today I have a King Kong 130GT carbon frame, um, as you may have seen on my channel I like um, 130 size frames and I've built this out, you can see there's videos on my channel if you'd like to look. Um, I intend to build this out capable of 4S, um, it will run 3 inch props I assume. Uh, without the further ado, let's have a quick look at it. Um, it is carbon fibre. Um, there's the frame itself. The base plate. Um, it comes with a top plate and a camera mounting plate. There you go. I assume it will, the front must be this piece uh, as the holes line up and it will have a bit of overhang in the rear and that the camera mounting plate will sit in the recess at the front and the top will sit in these slots in the top here. Um, I'll get some measurements off the carbon fibre. Right, the bottom plate thickness is 1.9mm, um, you pretty say, much say 2mm. That's quite a consistent 1.9mm of the whole way round. Uh, the top plate is 1.5 millimeters, give or take. Um, I assume the camera plate is the same, uh, about 1.5. Um, so that's the carbon fiber pieces itself. You get a little battery strap. Um, what's to say is just a piece of Velcro strap, really. Something that you would probably put on a garden tool to keep the wire nice. Um, I'll say that it's probably lightweight, so you get some sticky back foam feet, uh, which seems par for the course nowadays. Um, and they're a great solution, don't get me wrong. Um, I use them on pretty much everything nowadays. Um, light, durable, easily replaceable, can't go wrong. Um, with the frame, you get a little power distribution board. Um, here it could, it's got some sticky back plastic, double sided sticky foam or whatever you'd like to call it, to place it in there. It doesn't have any hard mounts, but it does have a 5 volt regulator and a 12 volt regulator on it. Um, the positive and negative terminals for the speed controller themselves are quite uniformly spaced, not all one side positive or one side negative. For example here we have a positive and negative, negative positive, positive negative and the same on the other side with a 12 volt and a 5 volt and grounds in the middle on one end and the other end has a 12 volt and a 5 volt uh, output as well. So layout wise it's not a bad PCB, it's just not my um, cup of tea and I'm going to be building this out with a 4-in-1 speed, uh, uh, speed controller so that will eliminate the need for this PDB anyway and make a cleaner build. Um, something else to note it's a uh, 5 volt 12 volt output is 1.2 amps max and the voltage input max is 24 volts so that will go up to 4 or 5 S Anything you need to put through this is fine. Here's um, a hardware accessory pack. Um, four pillars and the screws to fix that together. And there's another little accessory pack for mounting your flight controller. Um, these little risers 
these ones are plastic nylon M3 by 6 risers um, you get four four risers four screws and four nuts so uh, nothing to write home about there um, I'll assemble this frame quickly um, do time lapse Right, there you go. That's the um, frame put together with the including accessories. Um, you may want to build it out slightly different. I, I don't know. I may utilise this camera mounting plate, but it's a little bit sloppy in there. Um, uh, just mount the Kiss Flight controller short term. Um, obviously, I'll put a 4 in 1 speed controller underneath it, hence why well, I don't need any um, PDB because this will run directly off the voltage from um, VBAT. Um, I'll just grab the TS5840 um, that will slide in quite nicely to the top plate. Obviously you can see why they've extended the top plate out at the rear um, to give you options to mount this. Um, looks like there's a couple of nice slots here for a couple of cable ties um, depending might want to put some longer standoffs off and it looks like there's a slight recess in this top plate to keep your uh, battery strap centralised here and so it just doesn't slide backwards and forwards. Um, one thing I haven't checked is the motor to motor layout which I'll do quickly now. Um, 132 mm, yeah borderline not exactly bang on 130 but it's close enough. Um, I'll just grab some propellers to see how they lay down. Um, these are some Bee Fairy 3 inch by 4, uh, I think they're 4.5 inch pitch. So get one of these and see how close we're going to get. I think we're going to be alright with that. And the front. Yeah. Grab the other one out and just make sure backwards to back arm to front arm is yeah, that's not no problem. Um, yeah. Even if it's your propeller is in line with this carbon plate, it looks like it's gonna just clear it so I wouldn't want to mount anything right up by this post for the time being. Um, but all in all, I think this is quite a nice little frame for what it costs. I think it was about ten dollars. Um, I'm a big fan of King Kong gear, as you probably all know. Um, so I look forward to building this out. Um, please keep an eye on my channel if you'd like to see this being built. Um, I'm sure it will be forthcoming um, with the weather we've got at the moment it's not exactly conducive to flying so it's weather for building with that um, thank you for watching and uh, excuse my phone um, have a good day